In 2015, the United Nations announced a range of sustainable development goals. One of these calls for cutting global food loss and waste by half. At present, the world wastes 1.3 billion tons of food every year. In Japan, there are people looking to technology to provide solutions to this problem. Kinoshita Masayuki was inspired by an experience on an overseas trip. I saw all these kinds of fruit that had never been imported to Japan. And this was a hot country where food spoils quickly. It seemed like a huge waste and made me want to do something. Kinoshita focused on a special freezing technology that could allow foods to be used instead of discarded. It's much faster and operates at lower temperatures than normal methods. The inside of the freezer reaches minus 35 degrees Celsius. Multiple fans constantly blow cold air over the fruit from every angle, ensuring they freeze evenly. This process takes only one-tenth of the time required by normal freezers. Kinoshita has already begun using this technology to create frozen fruit from produce that otherwise would go to waste. Food frozen by this new method can be preserved for up to six months and lose none of its original flavor and nutrition. Just by eating these fruits, you're helping their producers and contributing to solving the world's food problem. Soda Keisuke believes the elimination of food waste is the key to saving the planet. By 2050, world population will exceed 9 billion people, and we're already talking about a coming food crisis. That's why we're building up stocks of grain. But you can't keep stocks of vegetables. If we can find ways to preserve vegetables long term, it will be a huge boon for the human race. Soda's method transforms discarded vegetables into a completely different form, so they can be stored for long periods. Today's delivery is a load of daikon radishes, a vegetable widely used in Japanese kitchens. After being chopped up and boiled, the daikon are mashed into a paste. A special technology is then used to dry and process the paste into thin sheets. Looking like sheets of paper, they're just 0.1 millimeters thick. Soda makes his vegetable sheets from daikon, carrot, pumpkin, and tomato. Although they look nothing like the original vegetables, they retain all their original flavor. The sheets can be used for wraps or as an edible base for other ingredients. You can even fold them origami style to make a container that you can also eat. Soda's invention is ideal for emergency food supplies. They can be stockpiled in shelters where they stay good for up to two years. Vegetables normally go off quickly even in the refrigerator. These sheets weigh very little and stay edible for ages. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of this kind of food in the future once people realize how it lets you store food safely almost anywhere. Japanese technology and inventiveness are finding fresh ways to preserve food helping solve the world's food problems by reducing waste.